All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He can try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Invincible! And now to defeat his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it a Underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, big punch land. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. And that one certainly found the target. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury! It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Nice head kick. 
Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Wow. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Big kick land. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Oh, and he gets the takedown. Useful. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Close guard. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Wow, huge head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right on the button. And both guys really throwing with authority. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Can't take many of those, you better check. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. There it is, taller fighter landing a knee with the body. Able to check that kick as well. Beautiful strike. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. His leg is hurt here, you can see him limping a little bit. Fighters throwing heat now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness be on his feet right now. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the oh, a Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. So he could... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Round two next. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. Great job landing that punch. Nice head kick.
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. See, if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Left hand punch to the clinch. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Just missing on the high kick there. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Close guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to him. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to pull counters after blocking shots. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Trying to double up on that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. There's the jab. How's another one taste? Doubling up on the jab there. Nice work by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Head kick. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He just misses there with the left. Punch over the top. All right, see the collar tie now. Big punch with the clinch. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And he landed the right hand there. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Nice play. Beautiful leg kick throw.
Mark, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round. He is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression. And... Right thus far, how's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Just out of range with that right hook. Big body kick. He lands flush with that right hand. And they separate. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it. He's coming high. Now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Oh! Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Back to the clinch and control the posture and lands big knees from the close. Oh, nice. Single collar tie now. It landed beautiful, perfect for that shot. Just over three minutes now to go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. here. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Just out of range with that left hook. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. So right after catching... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 
Well, missed on that one. Left hand punch from the clinch. Connects with a right. An uppercut in it. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get it. Oh. Oh, this is How about those five minutes? Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. This guy has his opponent hurt very badly. What a body oh. oh, He didn't like that left hand. Dude's hurt. Sir. Oh, the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Nice punch there. That was a jab. Shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight landed great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at one minute, one second of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strike two with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hit behind the punch that finished the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Oh, if you look back at the highlights, you know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. 